Coming up here on Mountain News First at 4, officials in Breathitt County are breathing a sigh of relief during cleanup from yesterday's snow after damage there was less severe than expected. However, the same cannot be said in neighboring Lee County where hundreds are without power. and don't see the lights or heat come back on until tomorrow night. And that last round of snow pushing through the mountains this afternoon, but I've got the latest on when, unfortunately, more might be possible on the way. First at 4 is next. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good Monday afternoon to you. I'm Dakota Makris. First at Four, we begin this afternoon with our severe weather alert day. As people across the mountains are working to clean up from yesterday's snowstorms, let's check in with meteorologist Evan Hatter. Evan. That's right. Good afternoon, Dakota, and I do have a piece of good news for us as we work through the remainder of our Monday. We are alert free around the region right now. Look at the active alert map. The last two counties under the winter weather advisory, Lee, Virginia and Wise, Virginia, along with the independent city of Norton, have had that winter weather advisory canceled. So we are free from all winter alerts. Well, at least for now. We look outside at London Corbin Airport. They've done a little bit of plowing there on the runway, but I can't imagine there's a lot of air traffic coming through uh, the London Corbin Airport today with it being both a federal holiday and with all the snow on the ground. You see we're still in the upper 20s and I-75 at London. We've cleared off the roads well enough, but still plenty there on the side of the road. All of us in the mid and upper 20s as we head through the daytime hours today, and it's going to be quite chilly again as we head into tonight. Feels like temperatures out there are in the upper teens to low 20s thanks to winds right out of the west at upwards of 15 miles per hour sustained. So it's a breezy one out there, makes already very cold temperatures feel even colder as we work through tonight. There's the last of that snow still pushing out of the big sandy. Few flurries will be possible through the evening, but that last disturbance will be pushing out and we'll get a bit of a break as we head into the day tomorrow. Emphasis on the day tomorrow. Keep that WYMT weather app handy, definitely, because we still do have another chance for snow before things are all said and done this week. And you'll definitely want to keep it handy tonight. Maybe leave those faucets dripping as we head into the overnight hours because we're back down into the low 20s for overnight lows tonight. I'll have the very latest on when we could see more wintry weather move into the mountains coming up in just a few minutes. Dakota. All right, Evan, thank you so much. Well, people across the mountains woke up to a snow scene after yesterday's snowstorm. WIMT's Chaz Jenkins talked with officials in Breathitt County about what some there are calling a relief after damage was less severe than anticipated. The impact of recent snow did not spread evenly among the mountains. For some, it was a calmer day than expected, as many in Breathitt County are counting themselves lucky during the snowstorm. They did not have as much snow in Breathitt and some of our other counties kind of to the south and the east, Breathitt, Owsley, and Perry got off a little better this time than the counties to the west. This storm is the latest in a series of severe weather events local meteorologists with the National Weather Service in Jackson say are not uncommon. It just so happened that the system set up where we had two different low pressure systems that moved just to our south and that's what gave us the snow. We could have something very similar happen in the in the summertime and we would end up with two rain events. Roads in Breathitt County are mostly cleared as of Monday afternoon and road crews are working to clean up those areas that could still present a danger to people who need to drive. Either way, those drivers are urged to be careful. There will still be some slick spots, uh, roads that the crews haven't gotten to yet that they'll be getting to later. They'll be slick in some spots until we can get the, the snowplow to pass. Getting through the day to make travel safe. In Breathitt County, Chaz Jenkins, WYMT Mountain News. Elkins says they think the worst has passed, but are on standby for whatever the rest of the day may bring. Utility companies in Lee County are reporting hundreds of power outages in the area and say it most likely won't be until tomorrow night that all those issues are resolved. That means there is a cold night in store for many, and the Lee County government is lending a hand to help people keep warm. Opening a warming station at the Happy Top Community Center for anyone needing assistance, officials say conditions are improving, but the area is not out of the woods just yet. Because as of right now, we the roads are clearing up, but we still have several 
power lines down, which are impacting our ability to clear some of the roads. We're clearing trees as quickly as possible. I would say we probably had 30 or 40 that we've had to get out of the way, and we're still finding more. Officials advise people to bring snacks and bedding materials if they plan on staying through the evening. People in Lee County needing a ride to the warming station can call 911. For the first time, COVID cases in the United States have hit an average of 800,000 per day. In light of the worsening situation, some Americans are losing faith in President Joe Biden's ability to handle the pandemic. A CBS News poll shows President Biden's ratings on the issue is down to the lowest point in his presidency, with just 36% of those surveyed saying COVID response is going well. However, some officials note the current situation cannot be blamed on one person or circumstance. I think it lies in a lot of places. I think a lot of the confusion emanates from CDC and the mixed guidance that they've, uh, they've issued. While critics and even some members of the president's own party have questioned why the White House was not better prepared for this latest surge, the administration this week is launching its website to deliver free COVID tests to Americans. Moderna is working on a single shot that covers both flu and COVID, but it is quite some time away. The pharmaceutical company's CEO told attendees at the World Economic Forum's Davos agenda the combination should help address concerns some people have had about getting separate COVID and flu shots. However, Moderna is not planning to have the vaccine ready until the fall of 2023, and even then, it will only be in some countries. From being without power to treacherous driving, recent snow left a big impact on areas in southern Kentucky. Thousands lost power and hundreds are still without. WIMT's Phil Pendleton is live now in Laurel County and shows us the situation there. Phil. Yeah, there are still thousands of people without power in Laurel County alone. A spokesperson for Jackson Energy just told me there's about 2,300 people still in the dark, still with electricity as electric crews are working as hard as they possibly can to get to those down lines, of course, brought on by this heavy wet snow that we are dealing with, but there's only so much that they can do and they are continuing to work to get to those areas. Many roads completely covered and impassable, although road crews had made a lot of headway by late morning. 11 Jackson Energy crews were dedicated to Laurel County alone, but they were having trouble getting to some of the areas. People without, though, were making the most of it. We're without power. We're running on a generator and uh, gas logs for heat, so uh, we're comfortable at home. It's, okay. it's, uh, it's okay. Sometimes okay. it's good to turn technology off. <laughs> it sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. And there are also a lot of areas just south of here in the Corbin area that are without electricity. A lot of high profile businesses just off of exit 29, such as the Love's Truck Stop, Sunny's Barbecue, a number of gas stations and hotels all without electricity, but the good news is, is that a KE spokesperson told me they were hoping to have that area restored. Also, some homes along Adams Road and Highway 770, that power should be restored very, very soon, if not already. Live in Laurel County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. All right, Phil, thank you so much. Stay warm out there. We'll still come here on first at four as winter weather moves out of the mountains. It is now causing chaos along the east coast. And we're not done with Old Man Winter quite yet as we work through the rest of the work week. I'll have the very latest on the way next.